What up, it is John Shibu, IBS Kelso coming back with another MX Bikes banger. Today we are here at Han Herd Motor Club. This is a sand track. It is a paid track as well as $1.50 on the shop. Uh, I am on the KTM 250. Uh, it says that you can do a 250 or 450, but it's fun for both. So we're gonna have to get into that and test. And if it says that it's for a 250, I'm definitely gonna have to get in there. You know I love my sand tracks. I think sand tracks in this game literally help you improve on your craft hugely. Hugely, I might have to come out with that with like a tip setting or something, but I believe that sand tracks really help you try to find the exact flow you need for a regular dirt track. Um, you're always looking just to keep the momentum and that's the huge thing. Um, yeah, with that being said, hope you guys have just been enjoying the content. I do apologize, I took a little break from making day to daily update uh, uploads. It's just Christmas time, I've been focused on just streaming, uh, been giving away to the community and uh, yeah, also that I kind of just been doing Christmas stuff with the family or for my family and all that good stuff. So I just didn't have time to do videos, um, but I am back on the grind for it for sure. We're going to keep pushing. Um, yeah, I thought I'd just cover another paid track. To be honest, these tracks have been low key just bangers. Like, not going to lie, like Han Hurd or Oliver DK, uh, the guy that's made this track. It's a W. It's a W. What is this? Whoa. Oh my God, it's a sin. That is a sin. We're going to have to try to conquer that before the end of the video. That is like a full five, five man, five gear fifth gear not five man what the chicken bone <laughs> but yeah with that being said sand tracks are absolutely dub and so far this the scenery is amazing i really don't know where this is exactly posted at but this is his second track ever on the shop i don't know if that means ever doing tracks um i don't know his tier or his grade of doing completely um but for this to be a second shop on the second track on the paid shop it's got to be speaking wonders because i know they don't just allow anybody to put their tracks up there but for it to be a sand track, that's always good. The community needs a really good sand track um, every once in a while, especially to practice. Definitely get, uh, de definitely worth the dollar fifty in my opinion. Um, usually I am on the Kawasaki for outdoors, but SLD Designs gave me a really great graphics kit for the KTM and also no Sent Sentinel to suspension. Excuse me, Sentinel suspension gave me a really uh, good suspension for the indoors and outdoors. So I thought I'd just run both, uh, really get like my feet wet. Um, once again, I am not on the OEM preview bike, so you guys haven't checked out my other video on Milestone Motor Park. I kind of explained it there, but I'll go ahead and iterate it for anybody that's new to the channel. Um, yeah, I just won't do any of the OEM uh, preview bikes only because I kind of want to keep the nostalgia and I don't want to like taint that and uh, feel like, you know, like I have nothing to look forward to in this game. Of course, granted, I am a content creator for the game. Hopefully, you guys think I'm a content creator. Hopefully, I'm not just, you know, being a goober around here <laughs> but with that being said for doing content i think instead of doing the preview bikes i i feel like the preview bikes are good to test but i don't want to be a tester for it i don't want to do it if there's something wrong with it fix the bike but i want to be able to grind it because no matter what i'm gonna grind the bike when it comes out so i think i gotta take this outside and really rail it like that is gonna be huge right here fifth gear maybe i mean we're lugging right now we are lugging ah oh, i might have to change the back tire we might have to change the back tire. I have a medium 110 on. Might have to change that back tire just to see what's up. But with that being said, I like to stay. Um, I like to stay very excited uh, for things that things to come in this game, especially that not many updates come. I'd rather just wait for the full thing. That way, I can like fully dive in, get my honest opinion instead of like being like nothing to look forward to. Since you, you know, updates are rare for this game. Um, thoughts on the factory I get a lot of people asking why I don't do factory bikes the reason I don't do factory bikes is because they just kind of cater more towards uh, just almost doing like arcadic ar arcadic writing like arcade writing like MX reflex legends and it's nothing wrong to that's not me hating on it I just don't think I'm ready for arcade writing in this game the reason why I say that is because I'm still working on the crap the whole reason I got the game for simulation is so me to grind I want to grind every day playing this game I don't want to hop on the game and feel like man like Ah, I just want to get on and have fun like I'm not at that stage yet to where it's like I want to take a break and do that So if you guys are more of the arcade guy or arcade girl guy um, Yeah, I definitely recommend going to the factory bikes. You'll definitely have fun It's just gonna hinder you in the long run whenever time you want to get on the OEM uh, bikes This it's a challenge man. I want that challenge and I enjoy that challenge I'm just that guy of, of playing video games. So I'll stick with it for sure but so far, the track, I, I, I will get back on track. I do apologize for kind of like getting off, but sand track, man. Let's let's think about it. This thing is huge. I think it's like a two minute lap time so far. I mean, ooh, I forgot. I gotta low key do that. This is probably gonna be the hugest jump. This is probably definitely built for a 450. I might just have the wrong tire. I do have a 110 medium. 
Um, if I was, excuse me, if I was to switch to a sand, maybe could be getting more traction for sure. Um, but I think I'm just gonna stick with it. I'm gonna try to make it the challenge of the video to kind of get over that. Um, I did try to take this outside. Maybe instead of staying in such a high gear, already go second. That way I already have the speed. Third, fourth, there we go. Oh, we're sending this, John. We're pulled. We're pulled. Lock it down. Ah! Seatbelt. Oh, my goodness, bro. That is actually fun. That is a huge jump. Dude, you've done wonders with this track, uh, Ollie Weir. Oh, is it Ollie Weir? Uh, let me know if you watch this video. Uh, you know, comment down in the section. I, I do apologize. Just try to tell me how to pronounce it, but I think it's Ollie Weir or Ollie, Ollie Weir DK. Um, w track, man. For this to be your second track, I mean, I really... You guys really don't know me for track reviews, but I don't know. I've just been kind of in the track, re track review mode, and I feel like I have uh, free tracks to be covering too, so those will be coming out soon as well. Um, shout out to Smokester. Smokester, if you're watching this, brother man, um, I was going to run that uh, Canyon SX for an elimination race, but he didn't have the... Uh, didn't have the uh, server version for it so that's always a huge thing is guys if you guys are watching this as well if you guys are uh, track creators make sure to find that way to get a track to be on server version i run all my tracks through mxb servers um i think that's the only thing you can run it through i think there's probably something else but yeah if you don't have a server version for it i can't look it up and i can't put it in for tonight's specials man i run a lot of tracks on my daddies when i'm streaming it's probably a good way to just show off your track i always like showing off new tracks and it's really cool give my hun humble opinions and honest opinions to a lot of the track creators out here i know mouse sl slid through on my uh streams and uh, i gave him my opinion i just was drunk at the time i get drunk almost every night on my stream so I, I just like to have fun time man hopefully you guys don't think that's weird or a bad thing but you know i, I get on games to relax and have a good time so if i'm gonna want to relax and drink i'm gonna do it man it's my own little personal space but yeah i think his track was definitely fit for a rough the rougher side and for me being drunk just could not battle <laughs> with it at the time but w thank you for pulling through uh ollie Ware, um yeah i don't know too much about you man like i said this is your second track i really don't know what your first track was unless i have wrote it i just started getting into the mode of actually looking who creates tracks uh, i used to just be like hey this is the track uh you know and we're gonna ride it you know i've never i've never been huge on like looking who creates it and i think that's almost like just on me and i'll, I'll take that one on me i'll put <coughs> excuse me i'll put the heat on me for sure i feel like i should be more attentive on that send this john come on c bounce yes pull down ah Dude, we are gonna get there, bro. I promise we're gonna get there. That's probably like ruining my lap time. So you probably could definitely get a 150. If you land that, you probably can get a good 150, one minute 50. So a good two minute lap time. As you can see, I don't know if you guys have been looking at my lap. My, oh, did I say that? <laughs> Let's go. But that being said, if you guys haven't been looking at my uh, kind of lines, I've been trying to figure out what lines the best to. Uh, run that right you know run the fastest line probably that second line that middle line might be getting more speed i have to check that out here in a second but i love it man kind of almost like a tractor where you don't need to stand up a whole lot but you do want to stand up probably could have gotten that rut dude either let me fall or don't let me fall make up your mind game holy cow but yeah i got i gotta say man this this is a w track for sure sand sand has always been my friend um, I know a lot of people have biased opinions on sand, but it's it's huge, man. You, if you can run a sand track and follow your lines and you know carry that craft over to regular dirt, anything, I trust me, you'll see a huge advancement and on how you look at a track and how you think you would take that as a sand track and then use that for a regular dirt track. I promise you, you'll probably like save two seconds worth. But yeah, pretty sick. No way I slide out there. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Boom. Too easy. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Pretty W. Pretty W track to me. Very excited, though, for the aerial season. I have been doing a lot of practice on Supercross. Probably still nowhere near to qualifying for pros, but I'm happy for AMS. Super happy for AMS. Um, it's just going to be the way, man. Very curious on how this really... Oh, man, can I send that? Yeah, full send, I can. I thought I was going to double single out of that, but if I really hold down the pin and pin it i can get that triple so really almost technically you can do almost all 450 lines except for that big boy right here which is a huge tabletop huge tabletop i like it though it is actually really sick so man come on floor come on come on hype me up baby ooh, ooh. hype me up baby go yes i made that let's go you gotta be kidding me 
How'd that work? I literally thought I made that. How'd that work? Uh, I feel like I, I can't end. I, I I can't end the video. I can't end the video until we make that, dude. That is a, an accomplishment on a 250. That is an accomplishment. That's a send and a half. And then I would assume this is the little pit bike spot. Yeah, it is. It's a little pity. Oh, calm, calm, calm. Definitely a little for little dudes, for the little goonsies. I like it though. It's actually not bad. Yeah, you sure this is for pit bikes? You sure this is? Hold on, might be for pit bikes for sure. Man, it's actually pretty sick though. Not gonna lie. Hey, <laughs> wow. All right, guys, off the side, off the side of the back of the track. Yeah, this is actually pretty sick, dude. W. Try to get that triple in. C bounce. Gonna go ahead and scrub. Only because I knew I probably wasn't gonna make that one. All right, this is moment of truth though. I gotta start in like second gear and rail that outside, go to third, halfway through. That is the only way I see it being viable, guys. That's the only way. Third gear now, rail it, stand up. Almost 60. Push! Ah! Z bounce. Yes! Let's go, baby! Oh my gosh, dude. That is a sin, bro. Holy cow. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Ali Ware, thank you for making this track. And yeah, hope you guys pick it up. $1.50 on the track. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and me doing a little bit of track review. <laughs> I know I'm not known for it, but it's your boy IBS Kelson. We'll catch you all in the next one. Pa 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 pa